Hi, my name is Renee, and this is the Cougar News. Welcome back, Cougars! This week, we have survey questions and teacher interview. Let's take a look. Be off number one, baby. This is the Cougar News. Hi, I'm Mr. McLean, the ESL Social Studies teacher here. I'm brand new to Beechcroft High School as a full-time teacher. How long have you been teaching? This is actually my first year as a teacher, formerly as a teacher in education here in the high school level. Why did you become a teacher? I became a teacher because in my 30-year telecom career, I've always given training classes, and I've really enjoyed uh, helping people learn and understand. Uh, part of my favorite thing is actually watching that light bulb go off behind their eyes. You're like, oh, I got it. So that's, I get a thrill off of that. So that's the reason why I decided to go into teaching full time. What is your teaching philosophy? My teaching philosophy is that, you know, everyone can learn. It's just a matter of giving them the opportunity to figure out how they learn best and set them up for success. The most frustrating thing about teaching is, for me, is feeling that sometimes I just I don't just don't know enough myself. You know, it's okay for me to say, "Hey, I don't know. Let me go check." But when a student asks me a question or comes up with a problem, I, I get a little frustrated if I don't know how to help them right there at the time. What's the most rewarding thing about teaching? The most rewarding thing about teaching for me is actually making the connection with my students. I mean, it's early in the school year, but. That's, that's really the key for me is making those connections and just letting them know that, hey, I'm here. And if you need something, let me know. Hi, this is Mrs. Wright, Beechcroft's Career and Community Resource Coordinator. Today, I am Dr. Angela Davis, though. However, I digress, but I'm going to get back on track. So, I have a few announcements for you and the biggest announcement I have is there is going to be a hiring event right here at Beechcroft. Big Air Trampoline Park, which is located at Polaris Mall, is going to be here interviewing our students and hopefully hiring a few. So, if you are interested in that opportunity, you need to go to my Google Classroom under Now Recruiting and you can apply online and then when they come you can actually be interviewed on Monday and hopefully hired. Um, it's a great opportunity for students, a fun place to work and if you stay with them long enough you'll continue to get raises and bonuses so it's a great thing to do if you need a job. Also there are a ton of opportunities in my classroom. I can't tell you how many because there's just so many. I, we just don't even have enough time. But if you go ahead and you log into my Google Classroom, you can find them all under Now Recruiting, under Job Postings, under Internship Opportunities, because you don't want to wait until March to get all your internship hours, especially if you're a senior. Oh, speaking of seniors, I have an announcement. So, we will be having our Senior Breakfast and Skate on Friday, December 15th from 8.30 to 2 p.m. We'll start out today at Der Dutchman, all-you-can-eat breakfast, 
and then we'll finish our day at Skate Zone 71 where the students will be able to skate, laser tag, have a great fun time right before our holiday break. The cost will be $35 which includes your breakfast, I said all you can eat, afternoon skate, and your transportation will be provided. You must ride the bus. No, you can't drive your car and meet us there, but you must ride the bus. And you have to have 90, yes I said 90, internship hours turned in in order to buy a ticket. So, once again, go to my classroom if you can't figure out how to earn your hours or how about stop by and see me. Alright, I think that's about all I have right now. Oh, I do have one more thing. I'm sorry, my sophomores. Okay, so we're starting our tours of the Career Center. So, if you are interested and you participate in the tours, you can start applying for one of those programs today. So, once you visit with me on November 3rd and November 13th, you can come back and you can actually sign up. We will have a showcase in December and I'll announce that in our next in my next update. Okay, now I really think that's all I have for you. Make it a great day, Beachcroft. For you guys as seniors, there is no time to be taken off, okay? It has to be pedal to the metal. We are chasing A's in everything we do, all right? Particularly if you're a student, hey, we kind of stumbled out the gate, the freshman, dealing with COVID. You guys were dealing with COVID right there, right? Mm -hmm. Most of y'all spent your freshman year at home, right? Mm -hmm. All right? If you're a student, you stumbled out the gate. Grades weren't so good that first two years. This is the time for you to really press your academics, okay? You want that GPA to finish out of here as high as you possibly can, all right? Because listen, now we're talking dollars and cents. Every test, every quiz matters, all right? Get your stuff in on time, all right? You got an opportunity to get 100% on a grade, don't turn your test, your, your paper in a week later only for 80%. That's going to cost you financially in the long run. Stay on top of your academics. In addition to that, your attendance. Your attendance matters. Everything you do matters. All right, your behavior, your stuff, things of that sort, it matters. All right, my athletes that are in here, whether you're a girls sport or a guy sport, all right, how you conduct yourself in this building matter. That's why you got to keep your grades up. That's why we have to treat everybody in this building with respect. All right? Because you never know, okay, who's going to tip the scale for you in this process. And it all matters. Series slash show is the originals. Uh, my favorite movie series is Mortal Kombat Legends. My favorite movie series is The Kingsman. The Hunger Games. My favorite movie series is The Planet of Apes. My favorite movie series is Twilight. My favorite movie series has got to be Top Gun. Uh, my favorite movie series is Sonic. This is easy, uh, The Godfather. Not number three, but one and two. Two greatest movies ever. Star Wars 2, okay? Cougars. Uh, I would say my favorite movie series is the Fast and Furious series. Equalizer 1, 2, and 3 is my favorite movie sequence. What's your favorite movie series? I like the uh, Marvel movies, and I like how they all go together. My favorite movie series is Spider-Man Coming Home. Hi, everyone. My favorite movie series is actually, it's Harry Potter. My favorite movie series is Spider-Man. My favorite movie series is Harry Potter because I was like a teenager when all of the books and the movies came out. I would go to all the midnight releases and had a wand. I was super into it. Favorite is Sabrina. Hi, my um, favorite movie series is Fast and Furious. My favorite movie series would literally have to be anything Marvel starting all the way from the beginning of the timeline to now. My favorite movie series is Transformers. My favorite um, movie series is Harry Potter. All eight of them look like really, really, really good. My favorite movie series is Transformers. 
Hunger Games. Fast and Furious. My favorite movie series would probably be the Scream franchise. The Incredibles. Right now, it's probably the Scream series. I'll say my favorite movie series is uh, Friday the 13th. Uh, my favorite movie series is probably like, I'd say Scream. My favorite movie series is Scream. Mine would be Final Destination. Spider-Man. My favorite movie series is The Hunger Game. My favorite movie series is the DC series. Polly Spider-Man. Bird Box. The Avengers. Wednesday. My favorite movie series is the Alien Trilogy. Uh, my favorite movie series is either Twilight or Spider-Man. My favorite movie series gotta be Toy Story or the Avengers series, gotta be. My uh, favorite mo uh, movie series is Jason Bourne. Um, it's cause he uh, had a background from uh, military, like special intelligence, and he used uh, many different things as, as a weapon. Uh, everyday products or things like that. He was very intelligent. I just love the whole political um, intelligence scene. My favorite movie series is Vampire Diaries. My favorite movie series is Harry Potter. And mine is Fast and Furious. My favorite movie series is It. My favorite movie series would definitely have to be Star Wars. I love all the new stuff that they're making and kind of how they're tying holes in plots from movies from the past. So even though I'm wearing Marvel today, it's Star Wars. My favorite movie series is Harry Potter. My name is Mary Austin Palmer. I'm with the League of Women Voters. And today we are visiting Beechcroft High School in Columbus, Ohio. I have one of my colleagues with me who is also a member of the League of Women Voters. And today she has been sharing with the students how to look up nonpartisan voting information. Jan, do you have a moment to just explain what you are doing here? Right, yes. Hi, I am trying to have people uh, be able to look up their address, and we're using the school address, to see what is on the ballot. And we look, put in the address, and then we go to all these issues and candidates and everything that's gonna be on the ballot. So, so all of those races on the screen are things that we'll be voting on this come November and you can provide information if you want to do a little research on that piece. That. Youth at the Booth is a program run by the Ohio Board of Elections and my entire 20 years at Beechcroft I've been affiliated with this program. Um, the Board of Elections recruits students who are age 17 or older to work at the polls on election day. Um, it involves a training, two and a half hour training, and then you work on election day from 5.30 in the morning till 8.30 in the evening, and you are paid, and we also give you service hours here at Beechcroft. And it's a great way to learn more about how democracy works and to participate, and also to help people coming in um, figure out what they need to do in order to cast their ballots. So I highly recommend anyone 17 or above come see me to learn about this. Thank you.
Riveter here to tell you why voting is very important. First of all, voting is given to every American citizen and it is your way to exercise your, um, your rights and give your opinions as to how you want government to run. Voting is not only important in the federal elections where you vote for senators um, and the President of the United States, but it is also very important to vote for your state representatives as well because we, as Ohioans, are very much impacted by the laws that are made for us in Ohio. So please, when you are going to turn 18, register to vote and go vote in every election in November moving forward. Voting is important because it is your chance to share your voice about opinions. Voting is important because if you don't vote, nobody will consider your issues. Young people are facing very high housing costs, very few jobs. It's very hard to get your own place. Why is this? Because most young people don't vote. They do give money to old people for like senior citizens and things like that because they vote. So they're getting the money and you guys aren't. Young people vote at less than 10% of the all young people vote. And that's why you need to get on the ball and get going. I'm Renee, and that was Cougar News. See you next time, Cougars. Go, Go Cougars! Cougars!